TIFU by accidentally submitting a suicide note as my essay for English class, so this happened yesterday, and I've yet to see what the results of my stupidity are, it is important to know that I was suicidal a year or so ago. I still have depression and anxiety though. Also, this is a high school, and my school takes mental health very seriously. So for my English class, I required to write an essay responding to a prompt on the list of prompts my teacher gave me. I decided to do the three stages of life one, but instead of the classic birth, life, and death stages, I made the stages of my life bliss, pain, unknown. For bliss I wrote about my childhood and how nice it was to be a lil kid. For pain, I write about how depressed I got during high school and how I wake up every day and think about how badly I want to die. Then for unknown, I wrote about how peaceful everything would probably be after I die. I said I was looking forward to my death too. Once I finished, I submitted it online without even reading through the whole thing once because I was right up against the deadline for submission. So fast forward to me, in my English class, about to read this essay out loud in front of a few of my classmates because we were supposed to peer review each other's essays. I read mine, and realized that it low-key sounds like a suicide note. The people in my peer review group were shocked and they tried to talk me out of killing myself. I never said I would kill myself, and I have no intention of doing so, but I did say in the essay that I was looking forward to dying, and I guess that made them think I'm a kill myself. So now I'm just sitting there thinking to myself should I just read a suicide note to my classmates. Please don't tell anyone please don't tell anyone please don't tell anyone. So now I'm pretty sure that my teacher's gonna read my essay and tell somebody about my mental health, or even worse, she might tell my parents. TLDR, I accidentally wrote a suicide note and turned it in for my English essay assignment, and I had to read it out loud in front of a few of my classmates. Edit. Y'all thanks for all the support, I really appreciate it. I'm at school right now but when I get home I'll read all your comments. Edit 2, again, thanks for y'all's support it means a lot to me. Also, thank you to those who showed me that Long Beach Griffey video that really made me smile a little bit. If anything interesting happens regarding this story, I'll be sure to update y'all. I know what you mean. I wrote short stories for fun in high school and once for my creative writing assignment I was against a deadline so I just submitted one I had on hand. This was only a couple years after Columbine and my short story was the perspective of a school shooting victim hiding and trying not to die. I got a nice little chat with the teacher who actually really liked the story. You'll be fine. I am sure. I wrote one from the perspective of the shooter. Never had a thought remotely close to actually doing anything like that, I've never even shot a gun, but, my English teacher was a fan of my writing and I was always trying to impress with my stories and this one got detailed and in-depth on emotions that lead up to the shooting. He pulled me into the principal's office, had a meeting with my parents. I had to convince everyone I was just good at writing stories and it came from absolutely no real life experience. It was a disaster. One time I had a phone in the bathroom, and I was messing around with it in middle school, I think playing some game to kill time. Some kid walks in and I put it away, he asks what it is and I said nothing. Long story short the next day I get pulled into the principal's office and my parents are there and the principal is saying he got reports I had a bomb. Like WTF. I was a quiet Indian kid, still am Indian, but seriously. I was mostly just confused, it wasn't until years later I was mature enough to even realize what happened enough to get offended. Anyways I guess the point of my story is school administrations suck, 